Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to create a custom node in PCG graphs to create a custom grid shape. So this is what the cube is what we tried initially by using the default uh, create grid option and this shape is the one we tried next with sampling a uh, custom volume and this uh, a sphere shape in the middle this is middle this is what we are going to create today with the custom node that generates a spherical grid shape so you can see the demonstration here here i have the sphere grid node this is the custom node that we are going to create and here you see we have options radius and cell size so if i change the radius to something like thousand let's see now it it's this one here yeah. it is already thousand if i make it 500 you can see now it's more than that's only 500 as the radius so yeah uh let me change it back to thousand so you it's matches with the other objects so yeah this is what you are going to create today how to create a custom uh, sphere grid generation node in pcg and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done from my patreon page uh, i'll leave the link in description below once you become a member not just this uh, you can download all thousands of things i have done without any limits so feel free to check it out okay now back to the tutorial okay so here you can see the two things that we implemented so far in this series so now today we are going to look into how to create a custom node that allows me to create a custom shape grid so in this example i'm gonna try to create a custom sphere grid because uh, let me create a new pcg graph pcg custom node okay now here as i said by default other tabs if i type grid all we have is this create point grid which is just a, a regular cubic uh, cubic shape grid that you can give uh, grid extents and cell size it's like that so i want a sphere safe shape grid so to do that first uh this also if you want to see an example of how these nodes are created if you drag and drop this execute blueprint now you can here you can see you can select any of these blueprint nodes any of these nodes and if i select one of these nodes and go browse to asset you see now you can see all these available nodes and you can open them and check them as well mm. but what i need is and also this folder is deprecated so i'll go one level above and here you can see points from player let me open that so here what it does is get all actors of class and then around uh, around the player it looks like it create a point grid around the player so yeah this is somewhat similar to what i need to do i also need to do a point grid but not around the player just just a spherical shape grid okay so here you can see how it happens get the player's location and run a for each loop and make pcg point put it in this output points and then this part takes care of how put in this output points array okay so this looks like a good starting point for what i want to do so i'll make a copy of this into my pcg folder make sure that you are copying not moving because this is 
a plugin content right now here you have it so i'll call it sphere grid okay now here you can see the only overridden this function is over in overridden here and you can see what it already has so me and the readout node here and delete this part this is the point okay so delete this right now in order to create a spherical shape grid i would need few variables one would be obviously radius and this should be a float and the other one would be a gap between two points so let's say so size and what else i think that's enough for now so okay and let me just compile this and without doing anything else let's go here and type a sphere See? now we already have this sphere grid I delete this one so we already have the node but we don't have any points created yet because we didn't do anything okay now here not here here uh, you see when I select no options are there apart from the ones we had by default so if I make this and this public and I'll make, give some auto value let's say 500 and cell size B 100 compile yeah see now we have radius and cell size okay Great. Now let's create our grid. So first, I would need a for loop. And starting index. So we need to iterate in all three axes, x, y, z. So if I divide radius from the cell size, this would give me uh, how many steps that i need to go and since we are working with radius and a sphere grid i'll multiply well, let me truncate this to an uh, integer and then multiply by minus one and that should be the starting end. and end index is this value okay so right now this is one for loop that corresponds to one axis and let's say this is x and i'll do the same for y and we can use the same uh, same start index and end index let me structure this a little bit so it's easier for to follow for you to follow okay this is the start this is the end and this is x this is let me add a comment x this is y similarly let me duplicate for z axis
Okay. Now we have we basically have a nested loop that iterate through all the points in the grid. Okay, but this is not a sphere. This grid will not be a sphere shape. Okay, now the next step is creating a point. So for that I'll make a vector and well let's consider this as z and this as y and as x it doesn't matter actually but it's it becomes more clean otherwise you will see the lines entangled Okay. Great. Now Okay, now we have a vector, but this is more like a, this does not not consider the radius or the cell size. So if I multiply this with the cell size, I will get the actual location actual point location okay now here let me just without considering the uh, spherical shape let me just go ahead and add this point so we will get a 3d grid here uh, uh, transform yeah. transform here goes the location okay and I'll connect this here we don't have to read about completed note of this to follows okay now compile here now we have an output if I just press D to enable debug and if I drag and drop you don't see anything but I think they are in the origin let me switch to origin I see points yeah see I have the points they are not visible when I look at them like this okay so see I have a point cloud here but it's in a cubic shape now I want to see them more clearly I can spawn I can add a mesh spawner don't need to debug I have the major spawner and here lay on cube. Now you see we have this is not a single cube, a lot of cubes actually, but because of the scale we don't see them independently. So I do a transform point like this this here scale minimum i'll set the scale to point 0.1 now you can see each independent points but still okay it's not even if i move the volume it stays in the middle because we are not considering the actor's location so we need to solve that and also we need to make sure we are getting a sphere shape because that well that's what we set out to do initially so for that actually that's not hard here we can get the vector length and if this is less than or equal the radius then only this point is within 
this be a grid otherwise it's outside this sphere shape so if i add this condition now see now we do have a spherical shape but we only see half other half if underground so if we want to move it uh around if we want to place it around the origin of this uh, pcg actor here we can do something like this we can uh, from this context we can get component and then we can get owner from owner we can get at a location right and i'll promote store variable uh, doesn't have to be promote to local variable i'll call it at no, owner location and that is continue with the rest now here Uh, let's add this uh, on our location and use that instead of the location now if you want to have a switch you can define a variable boolean variable here something like uh, use local space so something like that and maybe add a multiplier that selects 0 or 1 based on the boolean value so you can toggle between using the absolute location or using the local space but i'm not uh, i don't care about that right now so i'm just gonna make it only local space okay now here you see now it's in here if i move it stays with the PCG actor. Okay, so that's basically all I wanted to do. So now here, if I want to use that, this is PCG lattice. Now, instead of using this create point screen, I can use sphere. Yeah, great. Uh, this Can you break this so our lattice would have a sphere shape now we have a sphere shaped lattice so and you can easily change this radius by my thousand to be a thousand this and yeah that's that's basically all i want to do in this episode so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and feel free to let me know if you guys like to see some other cooler stuff with ecg any suggestion that you have that i that you would like me to try uh, let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe See you in another episode. Goodbye.